<clears throat> Hello there and thanks for joining me once again. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to tie you up another soft tackle pattern. This guy is called the, uh, I call him the partridge and pheasant soft tackle. But they, in the book it's just called the pheasant tail. Yeah, I got it out of the book Flies the Best 1000 once again. And it's just a pheasant tail or a pheasant tail and brown partridge and a wire ribs, just three ingredients. A simple fly to tie, but an effective uh, soft tackle pattern. So I thought you might want to see this guy tied up this time around. So I'll get this guy the vise, a fresh hook in, we'll get going here. Okay, the hook is a Mustad 3906B, tying this guy on a size 12. Get that locked down in the vise here. There we go. And it calls for olive thread, so I'm using olive UTC 70 denier. And we'll start a hook eye length behind the eye here and get our thread base going back. And we'll come back to almost to the barb here. Stop our thread there and snip that excess off. Okay. And for the tail, you just want four to five pheasant tail fibers for the tail so going to snip some off here okay okie dokie I'll tie those in and I want them about hook gap length or maybe a bit longer so I'll tie them in on top with a pinch wrap pull straight up and I'm going to wrap those forward all the way up the shank here. Come in, snip those excess off. Okay, there's our tail. Now for the rib, it's a really fine copper wire, and I have a piece here ready to tie in. So we'll catch that in here underneath the shank. And we'll wrap that back to in front of our tail here. Just like so. Okay. Stop our thread right about at the hook point. Now the body is simply pheasant tail fibers once again, and I'll pick out about four to five more for the body. Okay. Okay, I'm going to tie those in here by the tip. Okay, right on top, just like so, catch those in. Okay, there we go. And we'll tie them down, wrap forward up to our tie off point. Right there. Now we'll begin to wrap those. First wrap from the tail and proceed forward. Just like so here. Okay, and they're starting to get a little short, just bring them around. Use your finger to hold them in place as you wrap until we get up to where we want to tie off. Then I'll come up and catch those. Two wraps, catch those in. Okay, and bind those down with three to four more snug wraps. And I'll come in and trim the excess off there. Okay, and then tie the rest of those down. Okay. Now we'll just take our wire here and we'll counter wrap that, wrap the opposite way. And we'll get four to five wraps here. Come around, tie the wire off, a couple wraps behind. And I'll wrap back on it to lock it in place. Then I'll just spin that off there. There we go. Okay, now for our hackle, I have a brown partridge feather ready here. I'm going to grab the tip of that with my hackle pliers. Once I find where I put them here, okay. And stroke the rest of those fibers back. So I just I want to tie that in by the tip and I want to trim that 
So I've got a tie off point, a little triangle there. Okay, wrap that back like so. Then we'll wrap forward once again. Now, I'm going to grab a hold of that end of that stem here. We'll begin to wrap that. And these sometimes, as you know, can be quite tricky to wrap. You got to be careful with them. They're not only fragile, but sometimes tricky to get them to go the way you want them. Okay, just be patient with them. That's the key. Okay. Alrighty. So far, so good. I bring that stem up around here. Tie that way off right there. Okay, a couple wraps. And I'm going to wrap back onto them. Just like so. Release those pliers. Have a look here. I want to make sure the Cartridge fibers are spread around the hook even as I can get them in there. Doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to pull all these back. My fingers, like so, stroke them back and then wrap rearward a few wraps. Snug it down. And I'm going to reach in and grab that stem. Give that a little pull there. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to wrap back onto that a little bit more here. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Looks pretty decent. Okay, they're spread around pretty evenly. Now, next thing is just to bring in my wet finisher and get a four or five turn wet finish on this guy. Throw in one more for good measure here. A couple more. There we go. Bring that in. And we'll snug that up nice and tight. Come in and snip the excess thread off. Okay. Okay, there we go. So, there's another size 12. Pheasant and Partridge. Soft tackle. Okay, to finish them up, I'm going to coat this thread head with some bone dry here okay just come in and coat those threads all the way around nice and careful like okay Now, come in and zap them with my light here, cure them up. Okie dokie. There he is. Done deal. I think it's a, the color on it is definitely a fish catching color for sure, the coloration. That molded color. And that's a nice looking soft tackle. So, I hope you have the ingredients. You can tie this guy up and add him to your box for sure. And I want to thank you for watching. And if it's your first time uh, viewing, and you'd like to see more tutorials, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of new videos. And also throw in a like too if you wish. So until next time, I want to wish everyone happy tying and I shall see you again soon. And as always, so long for now folks.